Hello everyone and welcome back to the Arabic teaching lessons. This is lesson number 10. Today we have three more letters to learn. They're very easy and simple and they're equivalent to the L and M in English. So, starting off with the first letter. It looks like this. A straight line then a curve under the guideline. This letter is called Lam. The pronunciation is La. It's L. It's like the L in English. So, with Alamat al Tashkil, it would be La, Lu, Li. La, Lu, Li. Now, very simple to pronounce. How would I write that in a word? Or there's two cases when it's followed by an elif when it's not followed by an elif let's start by the generic case where it's not followed by an elif in that case it would be written like this it's a long line then you curve 90 degrees and you connect to whatever comes next in the middle of the word, you have something in front, you go up, down, and connect. In the end of the word, you have something going in the front, and you can just write the, the normal letter as if you were writing it in the alphabet. So, this is how you write lamb, if it's not followed by an elif. Now, if it's followed by an elif, it's a bit different. An elif would give it a different shape. So, how would it look like? Well, if it's in the beginning of the word, you would write the same thing like that, then add a diagonal line, which is the elif, then you have a small gap, and the next letter. Now, why is this the case? Why we have a small gap? Well, it's easy, because it's a lamb, then an elif which means it's the last letter was an alif so I cannot connect anything from behind the alif I have to leave a small gap now it's it's not an independent letter I mean lam alif which some videos I saw on YouTube say it's a, it's a letter no it's it's not it's two letters it's lam and alif now continuing we have the next letter, which is, I'm um, sorry, um, this is one way of writing the lam alif. This is in the be in the um, beginning, in the middle, it will be the same, like so. And a small gap, and wherever it comes next. Now, this is one way which I normally use. Now, um, this is an I show you another way which is found in. Um, books or newspapers sometimes it's this one now you would say how is that a lamb and an elf and I would say this is the lamb and the other part is the elf I hope you understood that <laughs> so let me rewrite that and I'll show you now it's similar to what the one I wrote. The one I wrote before was like that. Right? So, the one that I just wrote is this. And this and this are actually the same because it's just a different variation of how people would write it. I would say, I, would s I will do the same actions, which is go down like this go back like that and go up like this and I will get the same result of the first one very quickly because I'm running out of time let's see so I'll start but I'll do it like this going down to the left going back going up and writing that so see these two are similar so here there you go so, because I'm running out of time, I have to do the other letters now. 
and if you have any questions about um, the lamb and how we write it and blah 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 just send me um, a letter or a video response a comment I'll be happy to help so the next letter is the letter meme which is equivalent to the M it's pronounced M and the name is meme and the way you write it is like this this is one way some people would have a gap but it's the same so meme now the way you pronounce it is M just like the M in English so with Alamat al Tashkil it would be ma mu mi ma mu mi okay let's see how we write that in a word the beginning of the word it's there's actually a very st um like different types of writing it I'll go with the traditional one first so it's like this you curve it and you go down and connect it like that in the middle of the word it's like this and a loop under, under the line and you go like this and at the end of the word it's also connected in front a loop under and you go down so this is the letter meme and the traditional way of writing it I'll write it again the way I usually do in the beginning of the word it's like this it's a curve, it's a closed curve like that um, circle, I don't know how to describe that shape you, you saw that and connected in the middle of the word it's actually similar to the traditional one just closed and at the end also the same way right? no, not this way anyway so one way is like this another way is just like that I hope it's clear. So this is two ways of writing the meme in the word. Now, how would I do that? Um, now, next the next letter, sorry, which is the noon. It's equivalent to the letter N in English because it sounds the same. So, I would say N, with an al N, nu, ni, N nu ni it's easy now and writing it is not very hard too because it's similar to the ba ta tha sequence that we learned um, before so the beginning of the word looks like a ba but the dot is above and the middle of the word it's also like the ba but the dot is above but in the end of the word it's like all other letters usually do are written the same way that they're written in the alphabet usually not all of them and it's like that so noon this is the letter noon in the beginning middle the end of the word so so let's me let me recap uh, today we'll learn the lam meme noon so just um, just a quick note that we are almost done with alphas we have one more lesson to go so have a good night